Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another edition of Community Q&A. Now this week's question comes from Elizabeth and she asks, I have a hosting account with InMotion and I have my domain pointed to an Amazon store. My email doesn't seem to be working, so is it possible to use email from your servers with my main domain already pointed to the online store? Absolutely. And in this episode we're going to show you how to do just that. Have your domain name pointed to an online store such as Amazon and still be able to use our servers for email. Now there are a couple of records on the server uh, in your account that tell the email where to be delivered. So we're going to change these records in order to point them to our servers to tell them to deliver the email here, no matter where the domain name is pointing. Okay. Now there's a couple of places we're going to change. One is going to be called the MX record, okay, and the other one's just the mail record. And we're going to do. Let's take a look really fast at the advanced DNS zone editor. Kind of give you some background. There's a whole list of records here, okay? And the very first one, though, is customercommunityimh.com, or in this case, your domain name. Now, you see, and it's going to have an IP address next to it. Now, this IP address, pretending here, because I don't know where this one actually points, is pointing to a store somewhere, say an Amazon store. Okay, so right now, that's where, if I type in the domain name, that's where I go to the store. Okay, if you look here at the mail, dot customer community imh dot com that subdomain points to customer community imh dot com what it means is it looks for this record and goes up here and says where does this point says, okay I have to go to this server this, this store here and notice the same thing does with your www here as well so if you wonder what the www domain does it kind of follows suit as well uh, you can actually have it pointing somewhere else so that's another video so what we want to do is we want to have the mail Okay, domain record here, point to us. Even, and keep here, we keep the domain, the main domain name pointing to our store. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change two things. We go back to the main area here in your cPanel. We're gonna find the MX entry icon. This is under the mail category here. So click on MX entry. Okay. All right, this is the mail exchanger here. So now we have it set to automatically detect configuration. That's fine. Um, you can set it to local as well if you want to be just for certain. And that means it's always going to work on the for the server here. Okay, there's one record involved here that I have. That's priority zero, which means it's first in line if there was more than one. And then the destination is customercommunityimh.com. But remember, we have customercommunityimh.com pointed to some of their store, some of their server right now. So let's edit this. Okay, and we're going to make this mail dot customer community image dot com. So we're creating a mail record specifically, or we're creating this record to talk to specifically the mail record. Okay, so instead of looking for where customer community image dot com is pointing, it's going to look for where mail dot customer community image dot com is pointing because we kind of separated it from the pack. All right, let's go back up to our C panel here. Okay, before we go back to the advanced DNS editor, we need the IP address of the server. Okay, so right here on the left-hand side panel is the IP address of your account. It's under shared IP address, okay? It says shared IP address, whether it's here on a VPS, on a shared, on a dedicated, it's is where it is, okay? So grab that and look back over here and we're gonna find under domains, the advanced DNS zone editor. Okay, now we're in. Now the list of files we have here again. Okay, again, customercommunityimh.com is pointing to this other server. We don't want that anymore. Mail.customercommunityimh.com right now is pointing to the domain name, which is pointing to that other server. We don't want that. Click on edit. Okay, the first two you can leave alone because we want to keep the name, otherwise it's going to get lost. The TTL is time to live. Don't worry about that, that's good. We keep it right there. And we're gonna go to the, the type and change it from C name, okay, which was a name like this, customer community .com, to A record. And A record notice is changed to address. And we want to put the IP address of the server right there. Okay? Edit that record, everything saves. Now, when an email is sent to your account. It's going to look for the MX record. 
Okay, it looks for that first, the MX record, and says, hey, MX record, where am I supposed to go? The MX record says, you're supposed to go to mail.customercommunityimh.com. So it runs down here and checks out mail.customercommunityimh.com and says, okay, where are you pointing? It says, oh, I'm pointing here to this server here. That's a whole different server than where you're shopping, the, your visitors are shopping at. That's fine. So there's the mail goes over there, which is our server here. So it comes here and it's delivered. Okay. Now you've noticed there's a lot of other ones down here. I only changed the top one for purposes of demonstration, but the purpose of changing these to A records and having IP addresses is they're very specific and they don't change automatically. Okay, when we first changed customercommunityimh.com to point from my server to the Amazon store, because mail.customercommunityimh.com was using the domain name, just like the www here does, as a reference, it changed automatically. So anything with those domain names in it are going to change automatically if the main domain changes. It's really more for simplicity. It can get kind of confusing. But in this case, we want to change it this way to a hard set it to always point to our server no matter where the other the domain name itself is pointing. Okay, so now, now I have my nice shop somewhere else and then I have my mail come in here. That's it for another episode of Community Q&A. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave your comments so we know what questions you want answered in a future episode. Thanks and have a great day. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.